So today we're going to go and check out my parents' mobile home, which is on their property. Not very mobile. It's not very mobile. <laughs> it's been on their property for 22 years or something like that. And um, my thoughts were this probably has to be demolitioned. But demolished? Demolished. That's yeah, the one. Demolished. But um, mum sort of offered it to us to, if we wanted to make it like a granny flat or a base camp. Base camp, we'll call it. So we're going to check it out. Um, we do know, well, here in my mouth, we do know it's full of stuff because it's got our stuff and theirs in it that has to come out. And we do know there's been a shift in the two sections, um, which has got a nice big gap that's letting out, letting in oh, vermin <laughs> at the moment. So, and we do know there's a leak. Yeah, in, in the, roof, in in the, the kitchen. kitchen dining room. So we're going to go check out the structure and see if we can have a look um, and see if it's worth fixing or whether to scrap it. All right, so we're bringing you along for the ride. Yeah. <laughs> have a look and yeah. see what you think. Like, yeah, you know, there's a lot of work see, to be see done. See if you would, um, would consider you this a fix place it? where you could possibly fix it and live in there or not. Yeah, yeah. There's a lot of work to be done here. I mean, my parents have had a couple of years where, you know, over COVID, I think it was, that they really couldn't do stuff, um, mm. as much stuff. Dad was looking after mum and nothing got done much outside. So there's a lot of work to be done. And if we're here on the property with them, um, even part-time, while we travel, at least we can help them out. So come along. Yeah, we'll go and have a look. Yeah. It's like being in, <laughs> what do you call it? All right, so we've got damage here to the roof, but that can just be replaced. A tree f branch fell on them or something. I'll be able to back it up or something. Yeah, as I said, there's gardening needs to be done. And that, and we've got a massive amount of um, overgrowth and blackberries and stuff in here. I was going to bring the secateurs. Yeah, well, oh. so it's a pretty big place. Well, it's a decent sized place. As I said, you've probably seen it in one of our videos when we do cluttered. Um, so cobwebs galore, obviously, which happens. It's got some decent windows. Um, so this is the main area and then like all this carpet would have to be ripped up. That's all right. And then this is, this is a room. I can see in the corner up there. I don't know if you can see it. There's a light coming in there, a light coming in the corner up here through the tin. Nothing that can't be patched up, but this is where we keep some of our stuff at the moment. I'm getting pushed inside. <laughs> oh, Gil's, Gil's I'm filming, filming as, well. as well. I'm filming, yeah. you're filming. You're filming me. Yeah. All right, so let's go back in this way. <sighs> so much stuff to come out. But, oh, and if you look down here, you see down here, that's the gap. Actually, the gap's not as big as I thought. I thought it was a huge gap. It's not as big as I thought, so it might be have to be fixed pretty easily. Obviously, it needs... Look, the roof's inside here looks really new, like pretty new. It's just been um, neglected a little bit. Now, see down down here there's gap definitely not as big definitely a lot of dirt now this is the worst area just got to be careful because we're not quite sure how good the flooring is at the moment so this is so this is the kitchen Now, there's our issue there. Oh, over there. 
over there against the wall. And here. And over here. So this is the worst room. Mm. And I'm not quite sure, because water has come in here, whether the floor's stable. I'm not going to walk in the middle just in case. Um, it's quite a bit of water damage along that side. Isn't definitely it? water damage along there. So whether it can be... Oh, there's water damage here too. All right, so this, whether it can be fixed, replaced, I don't know. We'll have to have a look. All right, let's just go through. Yeah, watch out for cobwebs. Yeah, okay. You bring a stick in or something. Yeah, you were going to bring a stick with you. Is there anything around that can get rid of the cobwebs? <laughs> okay, we'll level the cobwebs out. <laughs> Kill's a bit taller than me, so I better go up higher. <laughs> Definitely there's water in here. Yep. I mean, there's a crack there, but that happens in houses too. Oh, jeepers. Definitely the home to some spiders. All right, we've got crack there in the ceiling, which makes me think there's water damage there too. But not on the floor. The floor might be okay. There's a room here that has bunks in. It's only a little room, this one. Which we could take. We can either take the bunks out or extend the room or something or make that a laundry room. Oh, yeah, I can feel them on my... <laughs> um, two. Okay, basin. See, all this can be replaced if you want. Shower. And then there's a toilet in here. There, that hasn't been used in 50 million years. I don't even know. If, oh, look, and there's a hole up there. Okay. So, water would have been coming straight in here, which means the toilet floor might not be safe. If you want to have a look. Mm hmm. Yeah, a lot of cupboards on this oh, look at, um, stick there. Mm. Oh, my stick. I thought you meant on me. Look at this. Mm. Oh, I don't think this part's any good. I don't know if that's... I don't think that's water. I think that's some termites or something. Oh, maybe some of this isn't water. And then this is another room here. It's almost as if this section's no good. Look at this. My phone's oh. all over. Oh. Cobwebs everywhere. <coughs> I don't think this room looks... I don't think this side looks any good. I was hoping the structure would be better in here. Yeah, me too. <coughs> it actually feels like this whole section should be scrapped. <sighs> Shit. That's a bugger. That's really bad. Uh, I mean, I wasn't concerned about the cupboards and stuff in here. Because we could always rip it out and put an Ikea one in or paint it or, or whatever. Wasn't concerned about the oven. Something's telling me that I don't think that's salvageable. So, so I don't think you can save it. <laughs> uh, <coughs> um, Even if you ripped off the whole roof, it, the walls are still stuffed. Yeah, there's a lot of work. Uh, I don't know. Well, since that's a, a separate section, it's a separate section to this one, that yeah. really would have to go, I think. Yeah, I think we need to look at the roof and... But, yeah, it's just... Um, yeah. All right. Not very no. That's a bugger. Uh, that's worse than I thought. This is this room's better than I thought, and that room's worse than I thought. 
Well, I knew it was leaking in there and stuff, but I didn't realise how much damage was done to it. I guess after 20 years of... If it leaks... I'm going to just walk around the property. Not, I'm not concerned about trees and, and all that sort of stuff. That can be cleared up. I'll just have a look. Now, my mum and I walked this yesterday. It's fairly overgrown here too, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, it's very overgrown. Wait until you get to the back of it. Yeah, you can see the skylight it's broken up there. And... See, that can all be clear because this tree and this tree meant to come down anyway. Mm. <clears throat> this can all be trimmed back. Um, yeah. I had thought it was because this leads up to the house is to make a path like clear the path up there so they can come down and we can go up easier my thought was is this area here could be gravel or something have a barbecue in here and be really nice oh, all this area here be really nice and you can bring the car up here yeah. <clears throat> Caravan place. might be able to come up here too. There's no trees around. Like, but look at this. Even the foundation's rotted. Here. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, my original thought was is scrap this whole thing and then just rebuild here. But mum, mum said, oh, they paid a lot for the add-on bit. That was 20 years ago, but they paid a lot for it. So there's all, it's just all overgrown and... Yeah, um, the septic is somewhere here, somewhere here where we're standing currently. So there's no problem tapping it in. Don't watch it, just watch out, just in case there's snakes. <clears throat> I'm just I'm thinking it's uh, it ain't gonna work sorry I doubt it no, because he, he, he would have done it. So all this stuff here can be taken off, leave the conifer, get rid of all these big trees. Um, the house is, well, the mobile home is where you could put solar even, if you wanted. But there's so much, there's so much to do here and there's only really dad to do it. And, they're on 10 acres, it's a bit bit much for them. Mm. Oh, gonna have to say, it's, I think it's a, it's not gonna be just a fixed job, I think it's gonna be a. Rebuild. <laughs> Rebuild. <laughs> just about, yeah, I don't know. Yeah. Oh, the roof. You gotta stop the leaks first. Yep. But, then that's all the walls. but if the foundation's no good either. Yeah, I'll check that out. <coughs> and then it's still you don't need a permit, but you still need it needs to be up to building code. Yeah. So if the foundations are rotting, that's not gonna be up to building code. Yeah, I'll have to look at it and yeah. I don't know. Don't know how easy it is to replace stuff and we're not 21 anymore, unfortunately. It's not a, not a quick job. Don't think that's a quick job. I think the quickest would be is to bulldoze it <laughs> and get someone to put another one on top. Yeah, I'll have a talk to Bob. 
Yeah. He knows he's put it there, so he'll know. He'll more know a bit more about, about the, um, it. Foundations. Because we can get access, we can get access to the back of it and everything. Because there's a track here. So, at the moment we're up there in the caravan. So there's really, I mean, if we cleared all this, and it looked really good if we cleared all this out I mean technically if we cleared this out we could probably park the caravan there too when we're not using it be a nice place area to be in because you get your own privacy as well as it's close enough to mum and dad's house to help them out if they need a hand with anything that means that they can stay on their property longer as they get older but, uh, you're thinking what I'm thinking. I don't think it's salvageable. Uh, it's a Honestly, big job. You just about need to rebuild it. <laughs>